Good evening, everybody. It's Lynn here, the Go Live Granny, live streaming for the last night of 2019. It is Tuesday, the 31st of January, 2019. The end of a year, the end of a month, the end of a decade. A lot of end of um, and looking forward to moving into the new year and um, it's going to be a fantastic new year. So um, welcome everybody coming in on the live. Now I'm going to try and stay live right through till new year. Um, I hope that will work but of course um, there will be a lot of people online so we may not get the signal but we're going to give it a try. So welcome if you're coming in on the live. And if you are coming in on the replay, then do let us know about that. Um, so, you know, you might. Well, <laughs> hi, everybody. Happy New Year, Tracy. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Princess Lambert and Richard all watching in. Let's see if we can get to. <laughs> Did I say January? I meant December. How silly of me. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? It is the 31st of December 2019. Fancy thinking it was January already. It's not far away. Hi, Hazel. And I presume it's already New Year where you are, Hazel, because I think you're ahead in, in time of us. So I think you've already celebrated the New Year, haven't you? Am I right or am I not right? Let's have a look and see. It's January in two hours. That's right. Less than two hours now. It's about quarter past ten. So we have an hour and three quarters until we get into the new year and 2020. And I believe that 2020 is going to be an amazing year. I think a lot of wonderful things are going to happen. Hi, Tegan. Thank you very much. Um, so we're going to do our best to make it a really good new year. Um, if we go in with a very positive attitude, we're partway there, aren't we? Thank you, Marianne, for sharing the broadcast. As always, sharing is caring. So lots of you, um, please. <laughs> yes, uh, Hazel's recovering from seeing the new year in. Well, Hazel, we still have an hour and three quarters to go. Hi, Jenny. Yes, it's quarter past ten here at night. We still have... Um, uh, yeah, we still have an hour and three quarters to go here in the UK. Uh, yeah, 2020 vision, absolutely. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the jokes are coming in thick and fast. That's good. Um, now, I, I had a moment of panic earlier. I've had these lovely Happy New Year boppers for several years. And I saw them just before Christmas. And when I was looking for them earlier, I couldn't find them. And I was searching everywhere. And I thought I'd be jolly cross if I can't find them. Anyway, I'd put them away in a Christmas box. Um, so I did find them without too much panic. Hi, David. Hi Mary, everybody there. So um, what sort of day has everybody had? I've done some knitting. I've seen a friend, a friend popped over um, and uh, as I say, I've done some knitting. I um, haven't done much on the on the daisy line and those of you who have been watching regularly know we're starting a daisy campaign to fundraise for the um, Wessex Cancer Trust but what I have done let me show you in my nice bag here my bag that says if I can't take my knitting I'm not going I have got well I've got the Harry Potter scarf that's for my grandson and I'm just waiting to see whether he wants a fringe on it or whether he wants it plain like that uh, so that that's why I haven't finished that quite off. And then his sister wanted a Harry Potter one in these colours. So I've done that today. I've done the next part of the Harry Potter scarf. Uh, yeah, we're still doing Daisy Chains. Absolutely. Uh, Mo's been binge watching Bergerac. Excellent. Well, I'm... Um, <sighs> Hang on, your 16-year-old daughter flew on a plane by herself for the very first time to Manchester. Wow, that's a first. A first at the end of the decade. Never mind, maybe maybe um, she'll do it, you know, more regularly now. That's uh, that's good. Have you heard that she's uh, she's arrived safely? I hope you have. Hi, Corrie. Nice to see you. I know Corrie's been knitting today. She's been knitting Daisy um, dishcloths. And I want to know, um, Corrie, have we got a pattern for that? 
um so i don't know if we have um so of course we've had an amazing year in the go live granny community and the community has grown so much during um 2019 it was amazing i can't remember um you know what the viewer numbers were at the beginning of the year i suppose i could look it up um but um hang on um but we have we get a lot of people watching now um she's safe excellent glad to hear it thank you tracy it's always nice we mums always have to check don't we that everybody's safe i hadn't heard from one of mine today i'd sent messages and i hadn't heard back so i had to make the phone call just in case everything was all right because i thought haven't you looked at your phone all day um anyway it, it was fine it was fine just busy doing something else uh hello Sarah. Nice to see you. Um, oh dear, I've got the wrong... Oh, I've got yesterday's broadcast up. That's not what I want to be looking at. I want to be looking at the comments on today's. Good Hang on. Oops, everybody. that's yesterday's. Hang on. Shush. And if you can hear noises in the background, I'm afraid I've got my washing machine on, folks. I need to do some some washing. And um, I couldn't wait till midnight before I put it on. So I'm afraid it it's... Actually, I think it's sitting still for a minute but it will you might hear it in the background afterwards right let's go back to um i want yesterday i want i want today's broadcast it, it brought up yesterday's broadcast hi sarah how are you nice to see you in the broadcast um right let's just oh it's doing its usual not playing the game come on last day of the year at least get it right tonight for me come on let's do that um so you've just done yours yours is in the dryer i don't have a dryer janet i've got um i've got a wash rack over here that i've put my first load on because of course i've been away uh no my heating still isn't right i was talking to somebody today about my heating and it's locked out it locked out for the sixth time since it's been mended and this guy i was talking to today do you know what he said they haven't got a clue what they're doing he said it doesn't need a new boiler they just don't know what they're doing and they haven't done it right that's what he told me happy new year from you maddie and aiden that's nice sarah thank you um amanda's completed a baby cardigan and completed also her ba daisy items yes i um i just approved your post amanda into the into the group thank you yes i'm loving the glasses now that was the upside of of losing these i was going through all my bags to at the moment i've got a load of bags over on my sofa and and on the floor because when we finished the bryston christmas tree festival all the stuff has come back to me and i haven't sorted it all out yet and there were all sorts of things there and I knew that just before I went away, I knew that I'd got my Happy New Year boppers somewhere. I knew I saw them. I tried them on. Couldn't find them. And I was getting a bit frustrated because today's the day to wear them, isn't it? Uh, you know, when they were given to me, they didn't actually have a year on them, which means I can use them every year for Happy New Year. I know they're the wrong way around for you, but you can, you know they're Happy New Year. Anyway, I was so frustrated this afternoon looking for them. But while I was looking for them, I found these. And these were still attached. They, they were still attached to the piece of card. So I've not worn these ones before. Um, so there we are. We'll do a toast, a toast, um, you know, to the new year with my glasses. <laughs> I'll toast you with my glasses. I've also got, I've got some party poppers with me too. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Oh, oh, lovely. Your husband's with you tonight. That's nice, Patricia. He's usually in bed by this time. Happy New Year, Nat, coming in there. Um, so I'm going to, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to start the New Year early. Let's start the New Year early. Whoops. Whoa. Oh, there we are. <laughs> That's the first of the poppers. <laughs> I used to hate doing those, but there's nobody to do them here for me. Um, so first New Year's Day alone from you tomorrow not feeling that good about it hope you can all we will cheer you up Amanda we most certainly will um yes we're not gonna have anybody feeling down when we have such a wonderful community um Corrie's telling me that the daisy dishcloth knitting pattern is on daisy and storm.com excellent thank you and Suzanne's coming in and wishing us a happy new year lots of lovely greetings in here lots of um lots of you know, ni nice people, so many nice people have joined this community this year. In fact, a lot of the people in this group, I didn't even know this time last year. 
And of course, I didn't know Yvonne this time last year. Yvonne King, who um, became became a great friend of mine back in back in March, we think it was, when we both were in the hospital canteen and we were on the next table to each other and I got my knitting out. Um, so as I say, this time last year, I didn't know Yvonne. Isn't it amazing what can happen in a year? I didn't know a lot of you. I've met a lot of you in person this year. And um, I've, obviously some of us, we just connect on online. Janet and Leanne, I've known for longer because um, they've been watching my live stream since not 2016 and then when i went to devon last year i met them and i met them again this year while i was in devon not staying up much longer as you're working tomorrow no that doesn't matter susan i'm going to be try i'm going to try and stay live until after midnight i'm not sure it'll work because i think when a lot of people get online at around midnight we may lose the signal um <laughs> does anybody make new year's resolutions I don't because a few days in and the resolutions are broken, so I don't even bother. Um, you know, I don't know about anybody else. Does anybody else make um, New Year's resolutions? Oh, and I'm a bit chilly, so I'm going to... I've got various scarves down here. I've got a one that goes with this. Let's... a nice sparkly one. I haven't I haven't used this one before, I don't think. Oh, look, it matches my, my boppers, so there we go. That's nice not anymore no <laughs> i don't know and, and 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 if you do make them do you ever stick to them who sticks to new year's um, resolutions i would be interested to know who actually stuck to any new year's resolutions i don't know that uh, most people do <laughs> and uh, it seems like it's a no <laughs> that's a no then um so let's just oh i've got to i have got the comments coming up over there um yeah, and as usual, lose weight, get moving more next year, not to buy any more wool or crafts. Oh, no. Do you, no, 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 no. That cannot be. <laughs> Who can say don't buy any more wool in this community? <laughs> Hi, Angela, just coming in as well there. Um, I would, I, I, I just, I couldn't imagine having a New Year's resolution that said don't buy any more wool. <laughs> No, 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 no. Right, let's have a look. June, wish it, uh, June said, um, June's coming in from Liverpool. We've got Liverpool in the house. We've got, where else is everybody? We've got Devon in the house. Janet's in Devon. Amanda, I think, where, uh, I've forgotten where you are, Amanda. Remind me. Um, Corrie's in Northern Ireland. So we have a range of, a range of destinations um, in the house tonight. And that's lovely to see you all here. And, um, you know, stay as long as you can. I'm, I'm going to, as I say, I'm going to try and stay on till midnight. Um, if, hi, Yvonne. Um, I was just saying, Yvonne, that this time last year, I didn't even know you. Oh, Tracy's in Southampton. That's not far from us. Uh, <laughs> Amanda's got mountains of wool. Need to stop buying. I, Amanda, I've got mountains of wool. I need to stop buying, but I don't think it's going to happen. You're in Northumberland. Uh, Nat's in Nuneaton. Um, there we go. So lots and lots of people all around the country. And it's amazing. And, of course, we've got... Um, We've got Hazel in, who's already celebrated New Year right across the other side of the world. Um, my um, my nephew and his wife, two of my nephews and their and their wives are in Australia, and they've obviously already celebrated New Year. My other nephew, Jonathan, and his wife are in flight at the moment on the way back to New Zealand. Um, they came over for for Christmas to see um, their their mum, uh, Jonathan's mum and dad, my brother and sister-in-law. Um, yes, Tegan, I noticed that you'd laid in a lot of white quilling paper. What are you going to make with all your white quilling paper, Tegan? Um, I'll be interested to see what you're going to make with all of that. Um, so there we go. I'm just, I'm just looking here. Wait a minute. Um, oh, Corrie's put the, uh, oh, Daisy and Storm dot com. Uh, first new, right. Okay. Wait a minute. Hang on. Uh, I'm not sure which way these comments are going. They're going the wrong way. I think. Uh, hang on a minute. I think I'm, I'm watching the, co the comments. You, you went to your in-laws for the afternoon, Sarah. I hope you had a lovely time. I think the comments are going the wrong way. Let's see. Um, 
Wendy Piper's in, David Rainford's in. Hang on, I think I'm I'm scrolling the wrong way, sorry. Your sister's in Istanbul and she's had her New Year as well. All right, I'm not very good on the geography of all around the world. I know that Australia and New Zealand um, celebrate before us. And of course, the year that my, my um, one of the years when my son was living in Australia, and it, it, it was at a time before I was live streaming and when my legs were really bad and I couldn't go out, I sat in my armchair here and I watched New Year New Year in Australia. I, w I felt like I was actually at Sydney Harbour Bridge with all the fireworks going off because my son was standing right in the crowd and it just made me feel like I was actually really there. Oh, Istanbul is three hours ahead, righty ho. Hi, Tracy. Um, Tegan's going to make lots of things with her white... Um, her white uh quilling papers so that'll be interesting um <laughs> yeah lots and lots of white paper there that she's bought um so anyway um any so anybody all right so you might you're not thinking of doing resolutions a lot of you but are you thinking of taking up any new crafts or anything like that okay nat see you in a little while hopefully we'll we'll be here and we won't have got kicked off because of a bad signal um you know go and uh, go and get yourself sorted i've got a cup of tea at the moment um I don't know whether I'm going to just stick with tea. <laughs> I should have bought a cold drink over for later, but um, we'll see how we go. Oh dear, look, these bits look like they're going to dip in my tea. Woo. Oh dear, they're <laughs> poking my cheeks. Never mind. So, um, ca hi Caroline. Um, yes, so anybody's going to start any new crafts? this time i i did some quilling last year and it was when i did quilling that tegan tegan got the bug and i'm glad to say she stuck at it i didn't but it doesn't mean i won't go back to it at the moment i'm having too much fun with my knitting and um and with my um and with my crochet um you went to sydney many years ago let's all send our prayers to australia absolutely yes terrible fires out there i read that some of the people were having to go on the beach to escape the fires uh, uh um, tegan's saying she's got watch phones get jammed up at 12 don't didn't they on new year's eve they do okay see you later david no problem um yes so do let's send our prayers to australia uh, because obviously that's they're they're experiencing a difficult time. Um, <laughs> Yvonne's saying that she's going to have a go at quilling this year coming. Maybe we maybe we can have a get together and do some quilling. Uh, you know, a, a meet up and do some quilling in a meet up. Um, I've got all the I've got all the gear and I I I've got a load of paper because I cut my own paper. I've got a, um, a shredder and I cut my own paper. Um, you know, because I I was making things with all the same width paper, so I cut it in my shredder because it made it a bit cheaper. Um, so it's good. Um, so we did have lots of things. Just been looking on YouTube to make your cross stitch, make your cross stitch own patterns again. Okay, Caroline, did you find anything that you wanted? I hope you did. Um, I know that um, it, Yvonne today has um, she's been crocheting a hat and booties with um, daisies on. Um, and I have just um, approved that post. So she's been doing some daisy, daisy bits. Look, I got as far as this much of a daisy. <laughs> Look, I've done three. I've done the middle and three petals. Now, this is the daisy from the middle, um, from the middle of the. Now, yesterday, Dean told us about the granny the granny who did 365 granny squares and this is granny square number 14 it has a lovely daisy in the middle so i I've, i haven't done much today in daisy because i was doing my um my granddaughter's harry potter scarf that one and i was also doing a bit of my daughter's cardigan so there we are that's the front um i know that on the pattern it says start on the back but when <laughs> When I was away, oh, I'm going to sneeze. Am I? No, I'm not. When I was away, I only had short knitting needles. So I couldn't cast on the, the back. I think I needed about, oh, 
was it about 90 something stitches and they wouldn't all go on these short knitting needles so I thought I'm not going to be defeated I'm going to start the cardigan and I'll do the fronts first because they would fit on those knitting needles so there we are so this is a lovely wool from Hobbycraft that I got and this is I'm doing it in seed stitch now it was interesting because I went from that to I started from uh, I was doing the cardigan first then I went on to Harry Potter's scarf and I this is I'm doing it in um one one rib knit one pearl uh knit, knit one pearl one rib and um <laughs> i forgot and i started doing it in seed stitch the second row i went and i, I did in stitch oh you silly girl it's supposed to be rib so i had to undo one row but there we go anyway it's getting there <laughs> um yes this day this is lovely oh dear my did you hear my crochet hook go on the on the floor it is um it is uh, it, it is a lovely daisy this one um also the one posted in the group for baby comforter is so cute yes um uh, marianne found some and she posted some up whoops hang on it's just my screen's just closing down uh, so she she posted some now i found and i found a toy i've been looking for a daisy um I, it's a vintage pattern it was it was a daisy that i made for my daughter and it was um when my daughter was born my firstborn gave her a present and the present he gave her was a mazy daisy and it was like um it was like a um a, a daisy you know with all its petals round with a face on and then it had arms and legs um and i've i i would just love to find the pattern i found a toy uh, that's crocheted um i was i was googling around yesterday and i found a um a crocheted one but i i so would love to have the Maisie daisy i'm going to try and recreate it myself not that i'm a designer but maybe i can take bits of one thing and bits of another and put them together and see if i can make it so um you know it sort of um it doesn't stand up on its legs but it has legs you know so i might be able to make it from a doll pattern with arms and legs and then create the face you know put petals around the face or something i'm sure that i can fiddle about and do something but i would love to have a Maisie daisy um i just I, there are so many of the vintage patterns though that are available i've just scrolled back i found all sorts of patterns that i bought years ago when my children were little so now my children are in Two of them are in their 40s and one of them's in late 30s. And so, you know, that's how old the some of those patterns are. Um, you've, ha, have you gone off paper quilling? I don't know if you have. Um, uh, okay. Sorry, your husband's got carp, carpal tun, tunnel syndrome, Caroline. Sorry about that. That's, uh, I don't know, what else is coming here? Um, Yvonne's got her new book for paper monograms today. Thought you might have a go at P for your daughter's birthday on the 3rd. Excellent, that will be lovely. Oh, and I had a new book today. Um, have I got it? No, I, I don't know where I've put it. Um, but it was the, uh, the Sarah Keane. It's not here, is it? No, it's not that one. Is it on here? No, it's not on there. It must be over there somewhere. It was a Sarah Keane fairy tales one, the one that I've had out of the book, the library forever. I let it go back to the library, but I'd had it forever and ever and ever. And it's a fifteen pound book, and I I managed to get it. I think it was about a tenner. That was the cheapest I could find. And I could find it cheaper than ten pounds, but then. I got it from Amazon and it was £10, but because I'm a Prime member, it was free postage and I ordered it yesterday, it came today. I found it cheaper, but where I found it cheaper, you had to pay more postage. It made it more expensive with the postage and it wasn't next day service. So I went for the Amazon one. So I now have my, um, my uh, that was fa the fairy tale, Sarah Keen fairy tales ones. Um, so that's lovely. Um, you had your oh, Yvonne's done her had had her carpal tunnel done, and it's amazing, excellent. So there we are. Um, hopefully, um, hopefully he will feel much better than Caroline. 
Um, that will be good. Thank you for that information. Those people coming in with that information. It's always good to pass and share. Um, right. And Suzanne saying she's had it and it feels better. Just the left hand to go. Um, so that's good. Always good to compare notes and see that, you know, there's some positive news out there. Um, my foot, my, my, not my foot, sorry, not my foot at all. My knee, before Christmas, it was doing a lot of clicking. It seems to have stopped clicking at the moment, but I expect it will start again. I don't know. I didn't want to go. Um, I didn't want to go to the doctors before Christmas because I didn't want to be poked about. Hi, Linda. Um, and I uh, didn't want to be poked about. And so I just went. I, th I expect at some stage I might need a new, a new a knee replacement. But at the moment, it just it was clicking and it wasn't sure. I'd be standing and I wasn't sure which way to move my legs sometimes. But it, it wasn't in a lot of pain or anything. So that was fine. I thought, no, let's leave it until after Christmas. I've got to go and have a, a routine blood test, just an ordinary routine blood test. Um, and I was trying to do that before Christmas and it just didn't fit in. So I'll, I'll fit that in in the next week and make sure I catch up with that. Just, But it is only a routine one. So hopefully that will be fine. Um, so what else? Um, so, yes. So the day. <laughs> so this that's right. So this is a this lovely daisy. Whoops. It's got caught up with the blue. This is a very easy daisy to do. Um, and then it goes on to a, a, a granny square. Oh, and I was reading the history. Do you know the history of the granny squares? Anybody know the history of the granny squares? Could be arthritis, Lena's. Yeah, it might well be arthritis. And do you know what? Over the last day or two, I've started to have slight twinges in my wrists. Not a lot, just a bit. And occasionally when it's cold, I get a little pain down there so i'm just hoping and praying that it doesn't come on with a vengeance because if i can't do my knitting i will be very sad um okay oh, oh a knee injection right okay from tomorrow you're going to try and do more knitting excellent that's good yes and and knitting knitting is very therapeutic caroline i know you do quite a lot um but you know um it might it will keep you you know it's it is i find it very very therapeutic um, so anyway, um, does anybody know the origin of the granny square? Because I've got it here. Um, oh, oh, right. OK, your husband can't have it done. Think positive. That's right, Yvonne. Think positive. And do you know what? I have. I've got one of those wonderful calendars up here. Look. And it says, in a world... Whoops, I can't read what it does say. Let me put this down. I can't see because I've got these... I can't see through my glasses. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. All right, so very positive um, calendar up here. Um, I bought one for myself. Um, the next month it says, let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. And in fact, let's, let's, well, no, I'll tell you as month by month as we go through it. I also bought, um, I was, I bought them to give away as a present and then I didn't give them away. I kept them. I've got some positivity cards, which I will be producing um, yeah, I will tell Suzanne, sorry, I'll, I'll do that. Um, I've got some positivity cards and they are so good. You know, when, when I needed to be very positive, I used to do lots of affirmations. I used to go and find anything as positive as I could and it does make a difference. So I want to, you know, help anybody who needs that sort of thing. Um, so I will be producing those cards. They're postcards. I might even send them out, some of them. But um, anyway, let's tell you about the granny squares. Um, so have you ever wondered why it's called a granny square or why we call the blanket an Afghan as opposed to a Brit or a Frenchman? Um, Af Afghan first appeared in English usage in the late 1700s as a name for the Pashtuns of eastern and southern Afghanistan. The country is known for its distinctive textiles, colourful carpets and famous caracal wool. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Caracal wool, it sounds like it. According to a 1946 article attributed to Oregon Worsted Company, the thrifty women of early America could would carefully save scraps of yarn and fibre unravelled from old sweaters and socks. As these scraps accumulated, they were crocheted into small squares, the colours combined on the whim of the craftsman. The squares were then sewn together to make a blanket which was both functional and colourful. Because Grandma was no longer up for manual labour, she was often the one to sew the squares together. 
Thus, they became granny squares. This colourful granny... Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, there's, there's a pattern here for a, a, a granny square, so it's gonna, going on to talk about that. Um, oh, wait, oh, so um, by the early 1800s, the name granny square Afghan was commonly used to describe these blankets made from wolf, wolf, multi-coloured yarn. <laughs> So there we go. Um, so that is the there, there you are. You see mine of useful information here. Um, so that was what the granny square is all about. Now let's just um, go back to the page with the comments coming in. No, that's the wrong page. That's yesterday's page. Here we go. Um, hang on. Past an ethnic group in Birmingham do great work helping with clothes and food for the homeless. That's excellent, uh, Richard. That's lovely. Hi, Nathan. Nathan's in the house now. Nathan, are you in ride or are you away somewhere on the mainland at the moment? Um, I don't know if there's coffee on on Friday, Nathan. And I don't know whether I'm linking up with my brother. But if my brother's going to coffee on Friday, then I will go too. Um, and I'm, I will see you. So um, Nathan and I often see each other at a coffee morning that's held at St. James's Church in Ryde. And my brother often picks me up. I haven't seen my brother David for weeks, several weeks. Um, so I'm looking forward to catching up with him soon. Um, and maybe I can persuade him to come on and do another live stream because I know you will like to see him on here. Let me just have a swig of my tea. Yes, I didn't know why they called them Afghans, but um, it is interesting, isn't it? Uh, oh, you're in ride at the moment, Nathan. Yes, so it, it was interesting. It, it popped up in, in something and I thought, oh, oh, I know. I was, I think it popped up when I was looking at the, because um, last night Dean told us about the, the, three, the lady on YouTube who did the 365 um, granny squares, one for each day of the year. And so I went and looked there is coffee on Friday. Okay, Nathan. Well, if David's around, then I'll I'll join. I'll see you down there. Um, no, I haven't yet got my other bags, Janet. I must message my other brother and see if he will drop them off to me. Um, I hope he will. Uh, you know, sometimes he's not as cooperative as he could be. But I'm going to send him a message and say it would be really helpful if he could drop them off. If not, I uh, I probably can pick them up on Friday. I didn't put anything that was emergency in there. Now, oh, something, um, something I'm going to I'm going to tell you about in a minute. I'm going to do ban it, ban it. Remind me to talk about ban it in a minute. But um, what else was I just going to say? I forget. I, I go on one thing to the next to the next, don't I? And then I forget what I'm going to talk about. Um, so obviously, um, we're getting on with the daisy stuff now. Um, so I'm just finishing. I'm intersp going to intersperse my daisies with the bits that my grandchildren asked me to do right at the last minute. So I need to intersperse. I started that scarf today because I wanted my granddaughter to know that I w it was already on its way. So then, then I've hopped over to do. I shall do a few daisies tonight, um, and then do a bit more of her scarf tomorrow. So we'll intersperse. Um, tomorrow I have to finish off the. Um, I'm finishing off the press release. Uh, one hour, 18 minutes left. Thank you. That's right. Keep me keep me on target. Remind me. <laughs> so I don't want to be talking and totally forget what the time is. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Um, so um, Corrie has very, very kindly written a press release um, to go out uh, to alert the press about the Daisy, um, you know, our Daisy, Daisy shenanigans. You know, Amanda suggested um, we did daisies, and um, I think I think Sarah suge had suggested it as well. well. One or two people were talking about daisies, um, but I know that Amanda did suggest it, and um, because of the Daisy bus, it became a very great theme to use. And um, there's so many things that we can do with the daisies and the theme of the daisies. And um, so Corrie has very kindly written a, a press release, which she sent over to me. It's on my to-do list tomorrow to get it sorted and, and um, you know, put in all of the, 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 the final details in it. And it's going back to Corrie and she wants to have it with the, um, uh, the Wessex Cancer Trust people on Thursday. Um, so that it can be approved and it's going to go out. I think the press release is going to go out on Monday 
and um, it's going to hit as many areas. Um, fireworks been going off since it went dark here. Right, we um, I had one or two fireworks here earlier, but nothing much at the moment. And there's some fireworks in Sandown tomorrow. And if I feel up to it, I might go over to Sandown. It's only a 15-minute display, so I've got to decide whether I want to go over to Sandown for a 15-minute display. I'll see. I, I'll, I'll see whether I feel like it tomorrow and live stream. I may or I may not. Um, so I'm not promising looks banging bangs going off over shanklin okay and fireworks been going off here in cows who's that in cows oh suzanne um so i've forgotten what i was saying how silly is that um scotland happy hogmanay i spent one year in in um, scotland over oh yes the, the, the thank you no that, that's great read it is great read richard um, um cory has a, a fantastic background in pr and um, she has already made a list of or i think she's or she has made a list or she's compiling a list of all the um the publication all the all the media all the press and media related um to uh to you know that she can um target with our press release and the idea is that people will know what a great community you all are and how you're coming together to do the project but also it will encourage more people to join in with us you know it's not um it could be the royal yacht squadron yeah okay um no the sand down display is tomorrow tegan it's tomorrow at it's at i think it's at six six to six fifteen tomorrow i think you'll find tegan it's on the isle of white dot live page i've put it there um so anyway um i know that there's a you know i know of a very short list of media but it seems like corrie knows all the media or knows how to find all the media um so um, as I say, I've got to do my bit of homework um, and get my bit sorted and then send it back to Corrie and it will go out. And then, of course, it can be shared and shared. Good night, Suzanne. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Uh, catch up with you in 2020. Do come and join us again in 2020. Uh, but I hope you, uh, you have a good rest of the evening um, and, uh, you know, that... The new year goes out in a decent way and, and the new the sorry the old year goes out in a decent way and the new year comes in in comes in with a bang a good bang a nice bang. i don't know it will come in hey look i'm going to wish you happy new year now whoops oh no my wrist gone sp oh happy new year oh look they're all sparkly sparkly poppers there we go look let's have some up here let's wear the the sparkly bits <laughs> but as i did that i could feel our, a touch of arthritis in my hand there oh dear that's not good is it never mind um and i think i saw mel no oh wait a minute you were in scotland last year for the new year with bill T bill tinman and mel oh that's lovely because they used to live here on the island um, and you spent it there last year. I, I did quite enjoy it, spending Christmas and Hogmanay up there one year. Um, but um, I, I wasn't with my family. And I do love spending Christmas with my family. Um, I don't usually spend New Year with them. I usually... Ha I don't ever remember having had... Well, I suppose the, the, the New Year in Scotland was probably the best New Year I've ever had. I don't tend to go out on New Year. Um, I tend to, to be at home and in the past I've sat and watched television um, and uh, it looks like you're going to bed in 10 minutes. That's fine, Tegan, don't worry. You know, if, if, if everybody goes to bed, then I'll stop broadcasting. But if everybody doesn't go to bed, I'll carry on. Otherwise, I'll be talking to myself. <laughs> um, so, you know, people will come and people will go. Um, so let's see what else we've got. Um, I tell you what, for those of you who are still who are in now let's do butterfly whispers now i know i know i usually do it at the end of the broadcast but we don't know when the end of the broadcast will be because i might keep chatting away and then suddenly we might lose the signal when everybody comes on to um for their new for the new year so let's just read the last page in the book 
December the 31st. If you tend to see yourself as a nobody, you are going to find that others will take you at your own self-evaluation. That's why I constantly tell you that when somebody asks, how are you? I want you to say, great, no matter what. If you don't think you're great, nobody else will either. And that was written by Mary K. Ash, who founded the um, Mary K. Um, uh, makeup range. Um, that's it. Oh, you're going to wish us all Happy New Year. Excellent, Tegan, and a Happy New Year to you. So there we are. That is the end of the book. And so tomorrow I will be going right to the other end and starting over all over again. And this is a book that keeps on giving because you can keep reading it every year, every year. There we go. And um, so that, uh, that is, it's a lovely book and I think a lot of you enjoy it. Um, there we go. So uh, <clears throat> there we go. So uh, yes, Tegan, we're we're looking forward to great things with your quilling in the new year. Some great new year quillings there. So what? Um, oh, let's. I'm going to look back a bit over this year. Um, I started to I started to make a list earlier, um, but um, hang on, don't fall asleep. Then I'll try not to fall asleep. <laughs> If I fall asleep, you'll have to make loud noise. Oh, I don't know what you'll do. You'll have to ring me. Somebody have to ring me up. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel sleepy at the moment. I feel wide awake, even though I had to wake up early this morning. I I was late going to bed, and then uh, that was silly because I had done an online order to come between ten and twelve this morning from Iceland, and it came by half past ten, and I also had done an Amazon order, um, and that came. That came before lunch. Oh, by about 12, that was here. So I didn't have one of my lovely long lie-ins today. But that didn't matter. Um, from Amazon, I had the book, uh, the, the fairy tale book. But I also ordered um, a pair of little speakers because my children bought me the monitor for... Hi, Caroline. They bought me a monitor for Christmas. And the sound wasn't very loud. And we thought there was something wrong with it. Um, but but um, Toby got... Um, got Amazon um, support, the helpline, to ring me. And it and they put me on to Asa, who made the monitor. And actually, oh, you've been up since 6.30, but you're still not sleepy. Okie dokie. Um, and so um, the, they, they said that the monitor didn't have loud... It wasn't, the speakers weren't very loud on that monitor. Now, what I want the monitor for, I want it across the other side of my bedroom on the cupboard. And I, when I sit and do my knitting with my legs up, you know, I've made, those of you who've been watching for a while know I've made myself a work station on my bed. So I've got um, a, a, a nice um, backrest and then I've got a nice table, uh, a fold, uh, you know, a, a lap table. And um, I put, I will stay there. If I if I go on my bed, I will put my legs up. If I don't, I'm going to try and stay up till midnight, uh, Nathan. And <laughs> Caroline's loving my gear. Good. <laughs> uh, this we just popped some party poppers for those people who've already gone from the broadcast, Caroline. Um, I have some party. I've got some more party poppers here that we can pop through the rest of the evening. Um, so we can do that. <laughs> um, so anyway... Uh, yes, so I've got this wonderful workstation now on my bed. It means that when I'm knitting, I will sit with my legs up, which I'm not very good at doing if I go in my, if come in my lounge. So I want to watch films or I want to be able to see my YouTube tutorials. But of course, the monitor is across the room and I'm on the bed. Now, I suppose that monitor was really made for hooking up to a, a, a computer. And if you're in front of your computer, you're usually near the speakers of the computer, aren't you? So you can usually um, usually hear that. I often only have five or six hours sleep, Amanda, and then every now and again, I have a very, very long one. And I do a very long lie-in, um, you know, just a, an extra refresh and recharge. But I don't, I, don't, I don't seem to need eight hours sleep. Some people will tell me I do need eight hours sleep, but, you know, often I can't, I can't sleep for eight hours. Uh, but there you go. So, yes, so um, because the monitor's on the other side of the room, I needed to do something so so the help desk told me that i could plug some 
um, hi Ben, um, not Benjamin, sorry, that's your surname. Hi Hazel, my eyes went to the wrong end of the thing there. Um, and knit in my sleep, I probably do knit in my sleep. I don't know, I have to be careful I don't poke myself with my needles if I knit in my sleep. I know you're supposed to count sheep while you while you try and sleep, but I'm not quite sure about knitting in, in your sleep, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> Amanda's the same as me. So, um, what am I trying to say? Um, <laughs> I've forgotten. I've forgotten what I was saying. Oh, no. I can't, uh, you know, sometimes... Um, I've totally forgotten it. You'll have to... Somebody give me a prompt. <laughs> um, oh, I know it was about um, being... Uh, on my oh yes about the, the about the speakers that's right so they told me um that i could put um, a speaker in there was that there's a little i needed a speaker with a 3.5 millimeter jack so i looked up on um, amazon and asked my son and he he said yeah that's okay but actually then he found some that were slightly cheaper that were as good so I bought, I ordered those yesterday. They came today. And so I was around the back of this monitor, you know, thinking I'm knowing what I'm doing. And they told me to plug it into the green, the green jack, the green hole, jack hole. Um, and so I put it in there. And then I thought, but you know what? The sound's not coming out the speakers. The sound's coming out the, out the monitor. So I'm thinking, oh, right. Anyway, so I, I checked with a friend and... Um, I needed to put the jack into the headphones, the headphone speaker, not the um, not the other audio speaker. And once it was in the head headphone um, slot, the noise came out the speakers. So I now we're cooking on gas. I sat on my bed, knitting Harry Potter uh, scarf and a bit of my daughter's jumper, and I watched a film. One of my nice romantic comedies, you know, where the guy always gets the girl. The ones where, you know, the fairy tale type ones, because I love that. I don't see, I hate watching, um, the, uh, you know, there's enough, there's enough bad things going on in the world. So to watch things where there's blood and gore and all that sort of thing, that to me is not entertainment. That's going on in the world anyway. So I just like something like a fairy tale, you know, that actually... So all the romantic, the the, the comedies, um, the I like that all the Hallmark movies where it definitely the boy gets the girl. You you know you you actually write the script yourself. You know exactly what's going to happen. But it's just good, nice, clean, and and healthy and enjoyable. And I love that sort of thing. I also like things like um, some of the um, I watch some of the quiz games i like pointless and things like that and i learn lots of things by watching those i learn answers to things like that the other day i was watching the chase and i was watching some of the 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 chase um ones where they the people had won and beaten um beaten the the chaser is that no what do you call the person the person in the chase um and so what do you want to see? The, oh, you want to see the knitting pattern for my daughter? Right, OK. It's ever such an easy pattern. It's called a weekend cardigan. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> that went in my mouth. <laughs> and I breathed in. Oh dear, that wasn't very good. Um, so this is what I'm knitting for my daughter. Um, it's a weekend cardigan. It's a hobby craft pattern. And it's it's seed stitch, and it is so simple. Uh, fairies at the bottom of the garden. You used to watch that, and it was quite good. All oh, right, okay. You wish they made more of them. Um, so I also like um, things like Morecambe and Wise, all those old things. The th you know the the two Ronnies, and all the good old humour that we had when we were younger my generation um lots of that sort of stuff i look at i watch victoria wood um people like that miranda hart i love all that sort of thing and michael mcintyre well he has me in stitches all the time some people don't like him but i find him very very funny he he looks at life and he you know when i'm going out and about on my rounds round and about whatever i'm doing i see things in the same way that he sees them 
No, it hasn't got buttons, um, Amanda. No, it's it's a dead easy. No buttons, no buttonholes to do. It's just dead easy. Um, so it's got... Um, it's just got it's it's on five millimeter needles and it's um it's not it's not seed stitch why did i call it seed stitch it's moss stitch sorry folks it's moss stitch i'm i'm telling you fibbies i don't know it's moss stitch and um there we, it's it's ever so easy and the thing is my daughter liked it and um There's no even there's no even edging to it. It's just just you sew it up. It's ever so easy. Okay, night night, Tegan. Happy New Year. Um, and so you just sew it up. So it's just, you know, it's it's a very very easy pattern. It's it is skill level beginner. I didn't buy it. I, I'm not a beginner, but I bought it because my daughter liked the look of it. Laurel and Hardy, yeah, they're good too. <laughs> um, and then my um my toby's fiance cheryl she saw it and liked it and she wants it too so i and she wants it in the same color so i'm going to be doing two of these um and uh, i i was recently heard to say i don't make cardigans i only make toys and small stuff <laughs> now i'm swallowing my own words aren't i um because I, i'm now making cardigans uh, but not to worry. Now, what else have I got? Oh, I bought this pattern as well. There's a fingerless mitten pattern there that I'm going to use on there. And um, I know there are some online, but sometimes it's easier to actually have a pattern. And I, at the moment, I haven't got it. I've got a printer. My friend Tina gave me a printer, but I haven't set it up. So um, I do I do use patterns from online sometimes, but it's such a pain fiddling about on your phone. Um, <laughs> Amanda's saying if she does, she would break your New Year's resolution of not buying any more wool. Amanda, I think you're going to break your New Year's resolution by about January the 2nd. <laughs> if you're anything like me, <laughs> it'll be gone. It won't, you know, it won't uh, be. OK, now, oh, now the other thing I was going to talk to you about was ban it. Now, I was looking at the Wessex Cancer um, Trust page um wessex cancer now i'm just i don't know whether i dare do this uh you know we all have our little vices don't we we all have our things that we like some people smoke some people drink some people eat chocolate well that's me i'm the chocolate eater i don't i hardly drink occasionally i'll drink if i'm with my family and they're having a drink i'll have a drink so i did have baileys and that while i was away but when i'm home i never do it's cups of tea or juice or whatever um and so my vice is chocolate now i've noticed that um they've got um fundraising ideas for the wessex cancer trust and it says ban it in ban it in jan ban it in jan Right, let me just show you. And so I'm just debating. I think I'm going to say it. If I say it, I've got to do it, haven't I? So I'm going to give up chocolate for January. All right, I've got a little bit of chocolate. Oh, my goodness. I will break it straight away unless I go and eat it now. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, because I've got a weeny bit of chocolate that are left um, from the holiday. I might have to give it away. So... Um, I think the idea is, look, there's a poster here. Let me just show you. Look, there's a poster. Ban it in ban it in Jan. Ban in Jan. I think ban in Jan would sound better, 2020. I'm giving up chocolate for West Wessex Cancer Trusts. Ban it in Jan. Please sponsor me. So I am going to um, download the sponsor forms. And see if I can get some people to sponsor. And what I might do is think how much I would spend on chocolate and put that money aside for the Wessex Cancer Trust. So that's another extra little bit of something I can do um, for the funds. So that was that is on the on the Wessex Cancer um, page. I'm trying to find. I don't know where that came from. Oh, I can't. Hang on. Wessex Cancer Trust. Uh, 56 minutes we've got, have we? Right, okay. Um, <laughs> so I'm just, um, 
I found I went I found that on the Wessex Cancer Trust site. Um, so, hang on. I can't see where I got it now. I've just I've just got the poster there. So they've got various fundraising ideas about things. Let me see if I can find the page again. Whoops. Hang on. That's not right. Wessex Cancer Trust. Here we go. Um, let's see. Guess what chocolate in... Oh, Easter eggs. <laughs> Easter eggs, Richard, that for sure. My daughter went out before Christmas, I think on, on, on Christmas Eve, and she took a picture of all the Easter eggs on the shelf on Christmas Eve. So that was, you know, just ridiculous. But there you go. So anyway, let's put... Um, let's see. <laughs> so... Um, so the um, now they the the crisis the crisis appeal. Look, hang on. Let's show you. There's the Wessex Cancer Trust crisis appeal. I don't think this is updated because they've gone past a hundred thousand, which is there, and that's not quite up to there. So I know they've gone past a hundred thousand already. Um, so. They're, they've got various ideas as to what they could do. Obviously, we're doing lots of the daisy stuff, which we can all keep doing. And um, I'm going to um, check with Kaylee um, about the stall, what sort of, you know, how much space we've got on the stall um, towards the end of January. So all our stuff, all our knitted stuff is going to go then with cream eggs and Easter eggs. Already. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Um, so let's see um there we go so uh yes they've they here it's it's got all the different support centers for the um, wessex cancer trust bournemouth center waterside's cancer support isle of wight cancer support chandler's ford cancer support oh there are actually five of them one two three four five. Oh, it only gives details of four but they're five. so here we are the events the events um our Walk for Hope 2020, that, that join us for our sponsored walk in the beautiful New Forest. That's in June. They've got, um, that's that's obviously later on. That's once that we've got past this crisis point. So at the moment, they're in this crisis appeal point. So they've got to get the 600,000 by the end of January. Um, but then the other event, it says, ban it in January 2020. Give up something for the month of January, whether it's alcohol, chocolate or swearing. The choice is up to you. Start on the 1st of January at 12. It says 12 a.m., but 12 is neither a.m. or p.m. 12 is midnight or 12 is noon. Um, but I suppose it means 1st of January, midnight. Um, um, and... Oh, hang on, Jackie, I'll show you in a minute. And then it ends at 11 p.m. on the 31st of January. <laughs> so at 11 p.m. on the 31st of January, you can, you can you know, go back to what it was. But maybe I will get into the habit of not having chocolate. That would be good, wouldn't it? Um, the the colour that I'm using for my... For my daughter's... Whoa, that was a needle falling on the floor. Look. This is one of the fronts. I started the fronts first. I was explaining earlier. I started the fronts. Normally you do the back first and then the fronts. I started the fronts because I only had short knitting needles while I was away. And I need to put 95 stitches on the needle. And I couldn't get 95 stitches on this short needle. I've now got some, found some bigger number fives that I can do the back on. But I thought I'd start on the front. So this is a sort of a nice it's that that color let's see what it calls it it's um lee it, the, the wool is leader of the pack it's um it's an arrow it's 90 percent acrylic and 10 percent alpaca and it's called baby yarn charcoal um okay hang on wait a minute what's uh maybe if there's not a lot of room some items could go into the shop to raise Excellent, Amanda. I'm sure there's ways and means we can do whatever we can do. We don't want to not knit just because. But I'm sure even if there isn't a lot of room on the table, she can have a lot of stuff underneath. I am sure. <coughs> um, Yvonne's got some magnets today. Whoops, hang on. Let's have a look. 
Uh, you're going to stiffen some daisies and glue a magnet to each for fridge magnets. Excellent. If that's, of course, it's okay with me. Anything, anything that's going to help to raise funds is a great idea. It's nice, obviously, that we're sticking with the daisy. That's stuff. It's given us a theme. If somebody gave me something to sell for the Cancer Trust and it wasn't a daisy theme, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to. Um, you know, I'm not going to say, no, I don't want it. But the point is, we've we've gone with a theme, which is quite a nice idea. Um, and it's amazing how many daisy things there are out there. Um, so let's let's see how many different daisy things we can do. Um, that would be that would be very interesting. So we can do all sorts of daisies. So we've got fridge magnets. Um, I know that um, Janet and, and Leanne are doing a daisy blanket um i think it's a, a baby blanket i think um people some of us are doing the lapel pins um i will have corrie's sent me a lot of the uh, little beads with the w's on so if <coughs> if anybody's sending me daisies and they haven't put the w on and they want to put the w on the w is for wessex cancer trust um if they want me i could i could always sew them on afterwards you know if you've got to send your stuff to me and they haven't got the beads on i can put the beads on <coughs> or we can have a team here putting the beads on <coughs> excuse me i'm going to drink my tea i've got a tickle in my throat and it's only going to get worse if i keep speaking till midnight <laughs> excuse me there we go so um, now, what else was, oh, I know what I was going to do. Um, so yes, yeah, so uh, keep the ideas coming. Share the ideas that, so that other people can do the same as well, if you don't mind. That's brilliant. Um, and then what I was, um, I was going to do, I was going to talk about some of the things that we'd done or seen this year. So of course, um, the big ones the big things for the uh, Go Live Granny community because the community sort of only really came together as a community through the year. Um, you know, people were watching in, but it didn't, it came together more as a community as we progressed through the year. And um, of course, back in, back in about, when was it? I don't know, back in early summer it was i um, i know tegan made a throwaway line about um i know what it was i had these these stickers made go live granny that's a bit tatty now and i was so excited that i showed them in a broadcast and um i i uh, the conversation went i can't quite remember i said oh i, I you know i um, I've got these and I know that Yvonne said oh she wanted one and I thought well does she want a go live granny sticker or does she want her own sticker with her own message on because um, I couldn't think why would she want go live granny but she said no she wanted a go live granny sticker to go on her mobility scooter and then Suzanne Fowler said she wanted one to go on her bicycle and then Tegan said why don't you go and give them out in the carnival? And at that point, I don't, I didn't remember what happened next. But two or three weeks down the line, we were, we're organising a carnival float. And I, you know, I said one night, well, whose idea was that? Whose silly idea was that? <laughs> and one of you, I can't remember who it was. One of you said, it was yours, Lynn. I said, no, it wasn't. Anyway, of course, I scrolled back. And it was my idea. What had happened? Tegan said, oh, oh, why don't you go and give them out in the carnival? And I said, I had to scroll back and watch the video to see that it actually was me that made it. And because I didn't remember, I do forget things sometimes. And um, it was me. And I'd said, um, oh, I suppose you want me to put a carnival float in. And of course, the rest is history, um, isn't it? So um, there we go, you know. Um, so, whoops, hang on, I'm on the on the wrong page i'm looking at the wrong uh, the wrong screen for the the comments i was on last night's instead of now 
Uh, what about your little bag? Yes, absolutely, Amanda. I was thinking of doing some of those. At Christmas, I did. Um, she's Amanda's saying do do my little the bags that I've been making the gift bags. And at Christmas, I did I did one. Um, I did a red and gold one with a red and gold daisy on it. I was practicing doing the daisies, and so I did it in red and gold. So um, yes, the, you know it's the, there's so much potential for so many different things. Um, so I will be doing some of those, Amanda. That's a yes, a great idea. And of course, we don't have to stick to the yellow and white daisies either. Um, you know, if you think that some people might like. Um, what wow well, nathan where did the last 900 years go what 900 years um, did i miss something <laughs> um 48 oh oh i see <laughs> i see nathan you've put 2920 i did something like that the other day i got the year totally wrong and and um nathan's just just lost us 900 years <laughs> i think you mean 2020 nathan don't you not 20 not 2920. My goodness, we'll be, all be a bit old by then. <laughs> Time does fly when you're having fun. Um, and Patricia's saying, hi, Danny. I can't see a Danny coming in, but maybe you can see somebody I can't see. Uh, I think if I'm not friends with certain people, I don't always see them come in, even though they can watch the broadcast. So hi, Danny. I'll say hi, Danny, um, because you're obviously in here because Patricia said so. <laughs> so there we go. Um, so let's have a look right the comments are getting stuck again um leanne's in now leanne hello leanne how are you doing we know you've got some some struggles and some health issues but we're sending lots of positive vibes great vibes for 2020 um you know it's i think it's going to be a fantastic year for a lot of people I, you know you heard me say it here first <laughs> no, no you don't think you'll stay away don't worry uh don't worry sarah um, have a lovely, lovely start to your new year. Oh, I'm glad, Amanda, I'm glad that we've lifted your mood tonight. That's the whole point of this community. If you're feeling down, pop in and, you know, join, join in the fun. This is, that's why this has to be a very positive group. And I don't, you know, you will notice I never latch on to um, anything that's going to pull the mood down. It's all about pulling, pulling us up and keeping us buoyant. I've been known to come into the broadcast not feeling as chipper as I might have done. And I get in here and you lot all lift me up, you know. Um, so it's it works both ways. It's a, a community where, um, you know, a pro I think, you know, you come in and if you're feeling a bit down, um, you, you might want to say something or you might not. You might just want to join in the conversation. But, you know, some people have felt that they wanted to join, wanted to share their um, issues whatever it is and um, I've, I've I've liked the way people have felt like they wanted to do that in that they felt it's a safe community to do it <laughs> Marianne's saying she must lay off the Baileys her life is passing her by <laughs> um, oh it's your granddaughter's just come up so, 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 that she's watching okay that's lovely um and you thought you wouldn't be on until midnight yet here we are in 29 <laughs> 20 I know. Amazing. I am going to wish you all um, a, a very happy new year now, because if suddenly as we get to midnight, obviously it's going to be very, very busy and um, we might suddenly lose the signal. So I think it's time for another party popper, don't you? Let's see if this arthritis, as I say, I've started to get arthritis in my hand. So we're going to just hope and pray that that doesn't take too much of a grip. Let's have another happy new year. Woo! Woo! Happy New Year! Look, some more lovely... Look, these are golden ones. I do... I didn't buy these specially for now. I knew I had some in the drawer. I'd forgotten all about party poppers. And then I watched last year's broadcast um, and I was pulling a party popper. I thought, oh, I better go and find some party poppers. And I do have all sorts of things um, in my drawers for all this sort of thing. I think I might have bought these... Uh, for a family wedding and not use them because they're nice and gold look nice and gold and sparkly always got to have your sparkle haven't you never ever lose your sparkle <laughs> there we go um so anyway some of the things i was going to talk about tonight because i'm thinking how am i going to keep going for two hours mind you i've never ever been known to drive now if anybody wants to come into the broadcast 
Um, mind you, you might all be in your pyjamas, I'm not sure. But if anybody wants to join me, I can I can invite you into the broadcast <clears throat> so somebody else can come and have a chat if you like. Let me know if anybody wants to come in. Um, but otherwise, I'll keep chatting. Have a happy, healthy and crafting new year, everyone. Positive vibes for one and all. Absolutely. And, you know, as I say, I've got my positive... Um, the positive calendar up there that will keep us going I'll, I'll, I'll find the positive postcards that i ordered from amazon and we'll have those out we'll have so much positivity and don't forget to put your positive pants on every day and pull them up right up positive pants that's it uh there we are um and yvonne would like to wish the whole community a wonderful healthy and crafty new year and we can be some of the craftiest people going can't we um so <laughs> there we go <coughs> there we go <laughs> Hot, healthy she's saying and there's me coughing away here <coughs> i think it's only a little tickle there hello karen how are you nice to see you how do you invite in right okay if um caroline you need if you've got your phone in um landscape um wait a minute is this right yes you need your phone in landscape the same way as me and if you want to come in um then have a look and scroll along i've forgotten actually wait a minute what's this button what if i do that button oh no hey hang on um whoops sometimes there's little people there i can invite in can i i can't see any people to invite in um oh well, Caroline, have a look and see. <laughs> Having said that, now I can't remember. Normally there's a little person there and I can put... Let's see. Wait a minute. Let's see if, see if I can... Uh... <laughs> I, it's, I've got more amazing as the evening's gone on, Ka um, Karen. I, my party, my boppers, my happy new year I've had for two or three years. While I was looking for those this evening and couldn't find them... I found my one of these glasses that I'd forgotten I had. Um, and then the gold, I've been popping party poppers through the evening because some people are not going to be here at midnight and we might not even be here at midnight. So I've been doing some regular party poppers as, we, as we've gone along. All right. So, um, you know, oh, I bet let's move the empty ones out of the way. Otherwise, I'll be trying to pop party poppers that have nothing in them. And I'm not even drinking. I've only got a cup of tea here. Um, so we do. We, we still have some more party poppers. Look, we can keep those going. But things, um, things that went well during the year, I started to look back at the videos that I'd done. Um, so, of course, some of them were Isle of Wight live ones and some of them were Go Live Granny ones. So um, back in March, um, oh no, right back in... Back in in January, at the end of January, we had snow. I saw that come up. I, I don't know if I live streamed it in the snow. I don't think I would have gone out. No, I think I remember. Actually, oh, it's getting in my mouth. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> not good. Um, can't see how to do it. No, I'm not quite sure. I don't know normally there's a little there's a little person here and maybe they've changed the option for doing it uh <laughs> marianne had a laugh earlier gave her older son a small bit of baileys he complained it was too strong so ended up topping it up with a pint of milk at least and now no he won't be a drinker excellent <laughs> oh dear oh dear no i can't see how to do it caroline maybe they've changed it um well I don't know if, if anybody could Google how to normally. Hi, Jackie. Normally there's a little along the bottom. There's a little, little people and I can click on the people and invite people in. But I can't see how to do it. Wait a minute. Let's have let's go on that one again. Wait a minute. Mystery mask, popular mask. Pop, no, I don't know. I don't really know. It's disappeared. I can't see how to do it, Caroline. That's a shame because I'm sure that you'd have, you could have come in otherwise. What's this? No, that's just that's just comments. Write a comment. Now that's a comment button. Um, <laughs> Yvonne's had a nice big glass of port and lemonade. Your gran used to say purely medicinal. Of course, my dear, purely medicinal. No, I don't know. I really don't know how to do it then. Um, 
Caroline, maybe they've taken that function away. Oh, I didn't notice that. I haven't used it for a while. Uh, that's not so good, is it? Well, I, that would have been nice if I could have brought you in because, you know, that I've done that often in the past. I obviously haven't done it for a long time um, and I just can't see how to do it. Let me actually, let me see. I might be able to send my son a message on here and see how you do it. WhatsApp. I can message him on WhatsApp and say, um, Hi, Carl. How are you? We are having... You're on appetizer, living on the edge. Oh, you definitely are. And Karen, do you know what? I'm on tea. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a drinker as a rule. Hi, Sandy. I'm not a drinker. There's two bottles of wine over there. Um, but I, you know, I'm not going to open those. I'm not going to open a bottle and drink a, 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 only a bit or, or drink a whole bottle. I'm not going to do it. I don't. <laughs> I'm intrigued now, Caroline. Let Google it. Maybe you could Google it. Um, hang on, let's go on here. I'm really... D that's foxed me, Caroline. Um, what we're trying to do... I was trying to um, invite somebody... Uh, you know, invite a different viewer in... Um, into my broadcast. And you used to be able to just click on something along the bottom. A little person. And there's no little people there. So I don't know why that is. Um, so I'm just going to send my son a message and see. Um, <laughs> they're all sending me Happy New Year messages, my my kiddies, here on WhatsApp. Um, Right, I've sent him a message. Caroline's having a cup of tea now. I don't know. He might be too busy living it up somewhere. Hi, Mark. 35 minutes to go, folks. 35 minutes and I've got two, four, six, seven party poppers left. Let's have another party popper now. There's more people coming into the broadcast. Ooh. Oh, there we go. More, 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 more. Here we go. Let's put that one around my neck. <laughs> oh dear, I've lost my scarf. Hang on. Hi, Ruby. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. The little people have got a, gone out for the new year. Oh, Hi, Sandy and Ruby. And wait a minute. To add someone to your live video, follow these steps. To go live, tap the profile picture of the person you want to invite. In the top right, there, tap add to send. Wait a minute. Follow the steps to go live. Tap the profile picture of the person you want to invite in the top right. I can't see the profile of the person. Wait a minute. Let's have a look. Let's see. Oh, hello. Have you gone anywhere? You've all gone away. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't want to... Uh... I can't see the profile. I can't see anybody's profile. Oh, I see. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I might have it. Hang on. If I see the profile at the side of the page. Thank you, Marianne. Um, let's have a look. Caroline, where are you? <laughs> we won't see. I mean, I know you won't. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see if I can find Caroline. Where have you gone, Caroline? Where are you? Wait a minute. Let's. Caroline, let's see. No, it's not, it's not letting me do anything. You see, wow, you used to be able, see, I haven't got, it, it, you said in the, in the top, I'm just going to have a look again. Um, um, <laughs> good night, Pauline. Um. Oh, no, that's I'm on the wrong page. Pauline's not in. Pauline was in a different broadcast, a different night. Oh, my goodness. How how ridiculous. I'm just... Um, you're there. See, Caroline, wait a minute. If I go on here... I, I, I can't do it. I am trying to invite Caroline into the broadcast, but I can't see... Um, Marianne said, to, to, 
Wait a minute, let's see what you did say. What did you say? You're here. Uh, one popper every five minutes. <laughs> I've been to spec savers. <laughs> Hang on. Wait a minute. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Just resurrected your quilling books. You haven't quilled for over 10 years, but who knows what 2020 might bring, Hazel? Well, that's good. Ah, oh, that keeps going in my mouth. Not good. Um, right, okay. You'd like to wish us all a great 2020. We'd like to wish you a great 2020, Mark, as well. So I'm still trying to work out how to get Caroline into the broadcast. And I can't... You see... Caroline, can you... Can you um, send some emoji... Uh, is it Caroline hit the the smiley button or something like that and I'll see if I can tap on that whether that makes any difference I just I really don't I can't see a way of getting you into the broadcast we really have to sort this one out because um because um Marianne said I have to go in the top corner but there is nothing in the top corner oh unless it means on ah 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 I've got it Let's see if we can do it now. I can see who's viewing. No. I can see that Caroline's there viewing. But it doesn't give me an option to to bring you in. Oh. Wow. They, they, they changed it because you used... No, I can't do it. I can't do it from there, Caroline. Um, no, I really don't, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not liking this because used to, I used to be able to, um, say if you want to come in, you could, you could either request that I uh, let you come in. So is there a way of, of Marianne, is there a way of Caroline requesting that she could join me in the broadcast? Is that, you know, I, I just will have to search this out because I'm not happy with this. They've changed it. Facebook's always changing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, or was I flicking your faces? Sorry, I was <laughs> I was trying to tap on Caroline, where Caroline's name is, to see um, to see if I could get. <laughs> you're not causing chaos it's me that's causing chaos no it's not it's facebook causing chaos they have changed to change what they do why they it's like it's like it's not like going in the supermarket and you always knew that the the milk was there and then one day they change it they change the whole supermarket round and you have to go miles away to find whatever it is you want and you know why do they do that <laughs> i think it's called marketing but i never did get it and I think Facebook's, you know, do you have, oh, right, okay, yes. So uh, Marianne's saying, Caroline, do you have your rotation lock? Um, if your locks, your rotation lock's on, take it off and you need to be, you need to be in, um, in landscape the same way as me. You can't come in unless you're in this, your phone's the same way around as mine. So she's got her rotation lock off. There we go. We will get this. Let's see if we can get this right. <laughs> um, so Marianne's looking it up. Um, so, so you see, so just remind me what you said I had had to do, uh, Marianne, because I can't, there's nothing in the corner. You said go into the corner. Um, over on one side, over here, there's the um, there's the number of people watching, and if I if I open that that's what i was doing when i was flicking your faces amanda um, i'm i'm trying to get i'm tapping on caroline's name but it's not doing anything whoops there we go i don't know i really don't know so what's can i oh hang on what's happened oh wait a minute i'm touching something there but i don't know when I touch, there's a little round circle comes up, but then it goes away again. So I still don't know. 
We're all so technical on here. Not, I know. If my son, if I knew this had been a problem, I would have asked my son. In fact, that's why I sent him a message just now, but he hasn't responded because he's too busy um, having a great time out, obviously. Um, so I, <laughs> I can't... Uh, I can't get his attention. <clears throat> my my daughter's just sent sent me a funny on WhatsApp, and I, let me show you. Um, <laughs> and this is so typical of you know of what would be my for my daughter. Look, it says, "Oh, it's New Year's Eve. What to wear tonight? Oh, wait, I've got kids. Pajamas, it is then. <laughs> Very much so, isn't it? That's a, she hasn't gone out on the town." tonight she will be in her pjs <laughs> there we go um so anyway are, are we getting anywhere with this um <laughs> has, have you found out any more marianne's doing a grand job over there trying to find the answers but <laughs> i don't know um i really don't know I, i'm flummoxed by all this it's not it's not good that I can't find out how to do it. I will have to find out for... Uh, hang on, let's... Hello. You're not causing chaos. Um, clicky. Do you have... Right, rotation lock, we're all so technical. If you like on a viewer's name... If you like on a viewer's name on the viewer's list, it might come up there as an invite. Oh, let me try that again. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Let's have a go. <laughs> we'll just get it right, possibly. No. Now, it's not even doing that. Before, it did. It let me like. But now it's not let doing that. Wait a minute. I better not push too hard or the camera will fall off. No, it's not letting me. I wonder if it... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. 27 minutes ago. Oh, I see... Oh, do you mean you can hear fireworks in Upper Ventnor, Pauline? Excellent. Wait a minute. Let's go back to Caroline. Oh, you mean here? You mean on here? Right. Okay. Let's have a like. I've liked it. We haven't done anything. Um, no, it's still not letting me. I'm. I don't. Love, I'm getting a bit fed up with this. Why isn't it letting me? It might come up. No, it's not. It's not coming up as an invite. Wait a minute. Let's see. So let's try this again. Live video. Draw it. I've got broadcast a moment as it happens. That's what I'm doing. Draw it. Lip sync live. Mystery mask. Popular mask. Popular mask. Popular mask. Popular mask. No, that's not what I want to do. Right. What's this one? Um, what happens if I do this? I don't know what I'm doing now. Oh, look! Hey, look, I've got hearts all over. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. What about this? Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Found some new features. Look, there we go. <laughs> but let's have a look. Uh, I don't know. Whoa, let's have a... <laughs> This is how Lynn, this is how not to do it. All right. What about this? Oh, Happy New Year! <laughs> is that the right way round? You are the wrong way round. You are showing the right way round. Don't go. 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 I'm <laughs> 
we go. We've just gone away. <laughs> dear, oh dear. What's this one? I don't know. Right, let's have a... Let's... No, I don't know. <laughs> What's this? Oh, oh, I don't know. That's a Marks and Spencer's one. Let's not do any advertising. Rainforest Alliance? Oh, look, we're in the rainforest. Look. <laughs> no, not quite sure what all these are. Right. Let's, let's, let's go off those. I, you can go off these things, can't you? No, it's not letting me. Oh, my goodness. Ha ha, you made a baby elephant. Now you can make trunk calls. Can you make, you might make a trunk call, but can you help me with this technology? Because it's not very good. Um, so I'm just, I'm trying to get rid of the, I can't do it. Hang on. <laughs> I, I've lost it now. I can't, oh, there we go. Let's take it away. There we go. Back to normal. <laughs> Let's the. I still can't find out how to get her into the broadcast. This is not good. Oh, it's not good. I just don't know how to do it. Dear, oh dear. Yvonne, you're in bed, are you? <laughs> oh, so um, let's have a look. I, <laughs> party times, funny. Uh, Mark can make trunk calls. Right, I missed some of the comments there. Is everyone at home? Uh <sighs> Well, Caroline, I'm really sorry I can't invite you into the broadcast. I don't know how to do it. Hello, Lloyd. Nice to see you. Normal service resume. What's normal, Amanda? Do we have a normal? Why go out when you get Lynn for free? <laughs> you don't have to pay a license for me. Mind you, now I might ask you, I am going to... So I uh, it, during the broadcast, I said that I'm going to join in Bannett... Ban it in Jan. And I'm going to ban chocolate. I'm not going to have any chocolate from all of January. So is anybody going to sponsor me? Because I, <laughs> I don't want to do it and then nobody uh, sponsor me. You can, you know, it could be teeny teeny. Oh, popper time. Popper time. She says it's popper time. Look. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Another one. Yet another one. How many have we got left? We've got four left, folks. Four left? No. Yes, four. Right. So if anybody thinks, do you think that I can live without chocolate for the whole of January? In all, in, in aid of the, the cancer, the Wessex Cancer Trust. So it's got to be worth some little bit of sponsorship, hasn't it? For my pain not to have chocolate, because my chocolate's my go-to when some of you might have your Baileys or your port or your bottle of wine or glass of wine. Mine is chocolate. And I don't, I, I, did, I did have this conversation with myself before I came on live to say, dare I do this? Can I cope without a month of, um... oh, there we go. Look, oh, thank you, Yvonne. Right, Yvonne is sponsoring me five pounds. There we go. I really have to do this now. I thought, I thought you know, if I say it online, <laughs> um, thank you, Amanda. Amanda, right, uh, Yvonne, there we go. Amanda, right, I'm writing it down because I, you know what I'm like, I forget everything. I don't, I, 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 I have to do it now. I have to do it in order to get the sponsorship money. And, um, you know, I did, I had got some, ch I got some chocolate out there. I should have it now before midnight, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, Amanda's going to give me. A fiver as well. Absolutely. My go-to is cheese. Well, cheese might have to be... Sometimes it's cheese. Um, there we go. So there we are. At least £10 worth. And then if I put in... The, hi, Astrid. Astrid, I am banning chocolate for January. <laughs> and they're sponsoring me to raise funds for the Wessex Cancer Trust. And I, it's going to be so hard but i will do it because i will not take your money if i haven't done it i will have to do it now <laughs> hello a big hello and a big wave there we go um five, oh nathan's coming in with five pounds as well thank you nathan that's lovely if anybody wants to do a sponsorship and wants to do it privately uh, Linda's going to do a fiver as well. If you if you don't want to do it publicly and anybody wants to do it privately, then message me privately. 
But um, this is this is great news because I need not to eat chocolate, but we also need to raise money for for um, the the trust. So I just thought that I know it's going to be really hard, but I know that I will have to do it because otherwise I can't take your money um, because that would not be fair. That would be cheating, and I wouldn't want to cheat because um, that's not in my nature to do that so that's it now so you might have helped me on my weight loss <laughs> on on some weight loss as well who knows that um, so anyway well that's a great start if I stick with it that's a 20 pounds um uh, they're coming in there already for the into the new year that's fantastic thank you folks and if anybody else wants to do it let me know there's there is a sponsorship form i think that i can get off the off the site as well we will let you we will let you we will let you have hot chocolate oh right okay um <laughs> and look marianne's 10 pounds she's got faith that i will do it wow <laughs> she must have great faith at that <laughs> my goodness thank you that's amazing um i you know I, I, I did stand there and I wrestled with myself and thought, can I do this? You know, mind you, having said that, in 2005, September 2005, I had a conversation with a friend of mine and my daughter was getting married in January 2006. And um, I, my friend and I, we both lived at Gurnard. No, we didn't live at Gurnard. I lived at Gurnard Pine. And she was, she, I met her in the swimming pool at Gurnard Pine. She lived near and she came to use the swimming pool. And we became swimming friends. And in September of that year, 2005, she, um, am I talking? To, yes, 2005, that's right. She came in with a leaflet and she said, oh, look, I've had a thing for Slimming World. And um, so we, we became Slimming Swimming friends. And so that was in September. My daughter got married um in january about the 21st of january 2006 i lost three oh 15 minute popper time whoa there we are another popper well, hey there we go i lost three stone um <sighs> You made £100 for your disability charity you support for Christmas sales. That was brilliant. Um, I lost three stone between September and January. I was pretty chuffed with that. I didn't buy the outfit for my daughter's wedding. You've got water and juice bottle here to drink. Smiles. <laughs> Look at me getting all this stuff in my mouth. And so I actually lost three stone. I didn't buy the outfit to my, for my daughter's wedding until the week of the wedding because I was still shrinking sadly that was a long time ago and it's a change now but maybe this could be the start of the new me you know trying to raise some more money for funds hi diane nice to see you in here we are on a two hour two hour um broadcast here we started just after 10 we're still here we're hoping that we don't lose the signal if we do lose the signal folks you know, you've been a fantastic community. Thank you so much for being part of this amazing community. We've got lots of great things to do this coming year, apart from being sociable and friendly with each other and boosting each other when we all need a lift and, a you know, a smile and a laugh. But also we have done some serious fundraising and um, we are will do a lot more serious fundraising family news lots of messages coming in on the computer there if you can hear my computer pinging its family members what if you tap on someone's profile picture that's what i tried to do um before yvonne when you said tap on it i don't know if i see let's try it again let me tap on where's caroline gone wait a minute i've got to find her picture now there she is no it's not so i'm sorry that i couldn't bring caroline in we will we will sort this one out and um we will sort <laughs> just laughing at your comment Yvonne. why go out when you can get lynn for free <laughs> dear oh dear am i that funny i oh, i do like to make people laugh um you know <laughs> but um Ah, 
you make me laugh a lot if you come up with nice funny things to say um there we go so right okay um you've got water and juice diane's watching in here now you see it's not i don't know i really don't know we'll have to find out yeah and Yvonne's saying thanks for welcoming you. I, I, I don't think you were in the broadcast earlier, Yvonne, when I was saying that actually this time last year I didn't know you, Yvonne, and now I feel like I've known you forever. That wonderful day when I got stuck on a bus. Thank goodness Vectis, Vectis had issues with the buses that day. And um, I got stuck on a bus. I know lots of you will have heard this story before of how I met Yvonne, but I was supposed to be at a, a hospital appointment on a Friday afternoon. And I was stuck on the number nine and I rang the hospital and said, I'm not going to make it um, by by four o'clock or whatever time I needed to be there. And they said, never mind, you've got to come because it was a suspected deep vein thrombosis, which it happened. It wasn't in the end, um, but they said I had to go. So I went and um, because I got there late, there was no queue. So I was in and out, a bit of banter with the staff. And then I went up. Uh, you lost four stones from your garden, Mark. Well, you better go and find them and put them back. <laughs> um, and um, and so I decided I wasn't going home on the bus then. I was going to go and have a cup of tea in the canteen. And I'm so glad I did. Those serendipitous, so many serendipitous moments this year where I've met people just because I was doing something that I hadn't necessarily planned to do. And um, I went up into the canteen and I got myself a cup of tea, sat down at the canteen table and got my knitting out. And Yvonne and Bill came and sat on the next table. Yvonne saw my knitting and the rest is history. And what a great friendship grew up because I was late on a bus. <laughs> How amazing was that? And, um, you know, and of course, Yvonne has done some amazing stuff in this community. Lots of you have, but of course, Yvonne put that Christmas tree together for us. She did lots of things for the um, for the carnival. Lots of people did. Lots of you have been really good doing. Oh, another 10 minute pop up. Amanda's giving me. Now I've got I've got three left. All right. So we're on a 10 minute pop up. Here goes the 10 minute pop up. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting too weak. Whoa. Oh, that one went right over the back of the, the screen. I don't think I can get that one. Can I? Whoops, yes, I can. Here we go. Here we go. Lovely, lovely jubbly. I'm so glad that you're keeping me in check with my poppers, you know, because who knew what the time was, that it was time for a popper. There we go. So, um, right. Uh, sorry, Astrid, you gave me a big wave further back there. I didn't notice it. Um, and wait a minute, what was that? Uh, have I missed any? Have I missed any more comments? Wow, super popper! <laughs> it was a super popper that one. So I'm glad I found my poppers because I, I hadn't thought about it, you know. And then I thought, oh, I bet I've got some in the drawer. I've always seemed to have poppers and all sorts of fun things around. Because it's time, you know. It's a now. What can we make out of these? Can we make something out of these? Look, we could make, we could cover these next year. We could make them into Christmas bells, couldn't we? If we covered them with, um, with well, they. If we covered them with foil, they're a bit covered with foil already, but we could, couldn't we? You can do sitting down things, but not climbing things. And I love to help anyone who needs. Excellent. That's right. Yes, and of course you did do the. You weren't able to climb on the carnival float. Um, but then we had other people. We had Ruby was doing that seven minutes ago. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, <laughs> um, yes, Yvonne. And it's the same with me. I couldn't get on the carnival. I couldn't stand up and do those decorations. Ruby did some. Tracy did some. Tracy's daughter came and did some. I'm going to miss out some names now because I always do if I try and name everybody. But lots of people, lots of people, everybody has contributed in some way to this community, whether it's just being part of the community and just coming in with some comments or, you know, nice comment here or nice comment there, or just coming in and sharing what they're doing. Eight minutes here, but maybe because you're in the north. 
All right, it's going to be late. You're not going to get to New Year till a, a, a minute after us. <laughs> Cover with pretty papers and add bells. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Um, oh, look, that gold's come off. Look, so we can do that. Absolutely. See, you can tell I'm an ex-teacher, can't you? I hate throwing anything away. Um, you know, you can make the drums, the little knitted drums that I made to go the Christmas tree decorations had toilet roll middles inside them. Um, so, uh, yeah, one of those is on my daughter's Christmas tree. She absolutely loved it. So there we go. What else? Anything else to say? And, and don't forget, of course, we had those amazing things earlier in the year. You, um, I remember being with Ruby down in Benbridge and Sandown Bay, um, taking, um, we were taking a video because Country File, had, Country File Awards, um, Benbridge and Sandown were in the running to win awards and we kept on asking you to vote. You've voted for all sorts of things as a community. You've done amazingly well. And um, Benbridge and Sandown, of course, won their awards back in March. We've live streamed carnivals. We've live streamed Santa dashes. Is that time right? If it is, I must get a little hand on. <laughs> you must get a little hand. On. Hang on. Wait a minute. Try live one. Sorry, I can't see. Oh, right. Hi, Suzanne. Get a little hand on your watch. <laughs> you should have a little hand on your watch anyway, Mark. <laughs> A second hand would be good. <laughs> You've got a second hand watch. <laughs> so, Suzanne, I don't know. Um, I don't know whether anybody's going to get the um, the Big Ben countdown. Oh, let's see if I can get Big Ben on here. And then we would know for sure, wouldn't we? We'd probably disappear because everybody. Oh, right, here we are. Big Ben. Um, right, let's have a look. Big Ben is set to ring in the new year for the first time since the start of the restoration works. Five minute popper time. Whoa, hey. And I hope the last popper works. Wouldn't it be awful if the last popper didn't work? Here we go. This is the five minute popper one. Whoa. Oh, dear. And they all went over the back of the back of the screen. I can't get them. Right. So uh, you don't like waste. You've got coffee pods and don't know what to do with them. Also, the coffee grounds could be used for something i'm sure any ideas well we'll, we'll have this as a, a as a subject an ongoing subject in the new year um let's see i want i want big ben on anybody get hold of big ben how do we get big ben on here um let's see oh dear hang on big ben big ben big ben sit i don't know can we i don't know I don't know how to do it. Happy New Year, everybody. Karen. <laughs> Hello. Happy New Year. I have my final popper here in a minute. So, um, I don't know. I can't. Um, I want Big Ben. Right. Interactive. Big Ben interactive. Is it going to be? Happy New Year, everybody. No, that's not it. Anybody give me a, a a a time check on Big Ben? Right, Big Ben. Happy. If anybody can do the countdown, if anybody's got the official countdown, I my 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 clock is saying twenty three fifty seven. That's what mine's saying. Um, you should have some sort of something streaming in so that we can tell. Is it? Right. You've got a Ben, lol, your brother. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see. Correct time, Lynn. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's see. I was just hoping. Hi, Patricia. How many minutes have we got to go? 
I can't find a live stream. I can't find any live streaming. I wanted Big Ben, but I can't find it. <coughs> Two minutes. Right. Ah, here we are. Here we are. We've got it. I've got it. If it comes up in time. YouTube's live streaming. And it's not coming up. I'm 23.59. Seven o'clock here. In, all right. Got to wait if to go. Happy birthday. Happy New Year. Counting down 50 seconds. But it's not. It, mine's not going live. <laughs> It's not happening. It's not going live. <laughs> 23.59. Count down for me. 30 seconds. Right. Count down. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. Oh, I heard a bang outside. Happy New Year, everybody. There we go. 34 seconds. 33. 32. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. Ugh. It's, it's obviously giving you different times. Look. Four, three, two, one. Whoa! Here we go! Happy New Year, everybody! And I can't believe that we didn't lose the broadcast! Wow! Happy New Year, everybody! Happy New Year! And look! What an amazing New Year. Thanks for all the love and the hearts and everything. Hi, Wendy. I cannot believe we are still broadcasting and we still have a signal. 2020, it's going to be amazing. Look at all those wonderful fireworks. Look at that. And we don't have to leave our armchairs. We can watch it there. Look at that. I can hear fireworks overhead too. Here in Ride. Lots of love to all of you. I'll toast you in my cold cup of tea. <laughs> here's, here's my cold cup of tea. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, Amanda. I'm so glad that we stayed on and that we, we were able to, um, to um, you know, see it. Hang on, I'm going to turn it back around to me. Thank you, everybody who came in, who contributed on our nearly two-hour broadcast. I can't, I can't believe that we didn't lose a signal. I really thought we'd drop out. Um, it's amazing, isn't it, that we still got the live signal here um, after all this time. Happy New Year, everybody. It's going to be amazing, absolutely amazing. And our community is going to grow bigger and bigger and we're going to do more and more and support each, support each other through lots of different things. Wow, so many fireworks going on are there. <laughs> there were one or two fireworks here. Still fireworks going on there. Wait a minute, there, BBC Streaming Live. Let me put it over there again so you can see. Absolutely, Janet. Yes, we'll pray for a better new year for you. Amanda's got singing going on near her. Karen's watching fireworks from her spare bedroom. Excellent. That is amazing. I was in, in London for the fireworks at Charles and Diana's wedding. It was the most amazing atmosphere that night absolutely brilliant 
never known anything like it. It does look like someone set fire to London, doesn't it? I bet this lot cost quite a lot of money, but it's lovely, isn't it? There we go, look at it, just amazing. I don't know why I didn't have it on streaming earlier. I didn't think of it. Just got there in time, didn't we? <laughs> I don't want you all blaming me because you're tired in the morning. <laughs> I can hear more fireworks overhead. So, folks... You know, I might be sitting here in my flat on my own, but I don't feel at all lonely with all you wonderful people in my world. Look at it, fantastic. And of course, we have a better view here than people in London do. <laughs> I bet it's a fantastic atmosphere there though. That's quite all right, Vivian. All part of the service. A new deck. We virtually link arms and sing. That's it. Oh, should old acquaintance be forgot? We should be singing old Lang Syne, shouldn't we? <laughs> Having a Baileys and dancing with Mark. Well, have one for me because I don't have any Baileys here. I'm going to have a cup of tea in a minute. Oh, I might push the boat out and have a lemonade and orange juice. <laughs> there we go. So look at that. Wow, absolutely. Coming together with all roads leading to Wembley Stadium. It's the year when football comes home. It's the UEFA Euro 2020 finals in London. So that's Wembley. They're talking about Wembley. I used to live just up the road from Wembley. 50 years of my life I lived near Wembley. You've got a pink gin, <laughs> have you? Watch live on YouTube with you, Lynn. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. So you're watching my live stream, watching their live stream. <laughs> We're live streaming a live stream. <laughs> Just such fun. And yet we're all nice and warm and toasty indoors. Yvonne, thank you so much for a fantastic year of friendship. Well, not quite a full year of friendship yet, but thank you for being part of my life. Thank you for all of you for being part of my life and part of my community. It's been amazing. What will 2020 hold? Who knows? But uh, I think we've started with a bang, haven't we? <laughs> I hope this music doesn't mean I can't save this Facebook Live. Hope it's not going to copyright me out. <laughs> That's quite all right. Perhaps I should put the sound down. I tell you what, I'm going to put the sound down only because... Oh, it's not going to let me. Yes, it is. I've taken the sound down, facts, folks, because... Um, I don't want it to say it's copyright and I can't post the, the live stream up. So, there we go. So you've got it without the music. Sorry about that, folks. What an amazing display. I wonder had who had the contract for doing that firework display. Happy New Year, everybody who's watching. It's 
One or two for fireworks going over the overhead here in Ryde. Can you hear them? Wow, what a long display. <laughs> Night, night, Amanda. Yes, have a lovely lie-in. I'm going to have a lie-in tomorrow. Some guy called Pyro Pete, I believe. Yes, I would think that would be a good name for whoever did it. <laughs> Glad you could join us, Karen. And still it goes on. This is an amazing display. <laughs> I wonder how much it cost. I wouldn't like to hazard a guess, would you? Hi, Tracy. Nice that you could join us here. We're just watching a live stream of a live stream. <laughs> Happy New Year, Tracy. We've been on for two hours. It was a two-hour live stream. Your first online New Year party. Yes, absolutely. First, I think it's my first online New Year party too. There we go. And I do believe it's... Oh, no, I thought it had finished. Thank you very much, Karen, for your lovely comments. And, um, you know, we will content, con continue this community and this friendship into this year. And by the end of this year, I will be 70. <laughs> Looking forward to this. Uh, lots. What on earth are we going to do to celebrate my 70th? We're going to make it an amazing year. So there we go. Right. So, folks, thank you so much. What an amazing evening. What an amazing live stream. Thank you so much for joining us. And all the times you join us, and thank you for sharing, because all of your sharing, of course, sharing is caring, and so many of you have shared, which has allowed so many more of you to come into the broadcast. Don't mention big birthdays this year. Oh, you've got a big one, have you, Tracy? When's your birthday? <laughs> Um, anyway, well, we've got the first big birthday on the 6th um, and Pat has got her 70th on the 6th and um, we are meet we're doing a meet up, but I will put the details in the community group. Um, I will try and get it in there tomorrow, but we're meeting up on the 6th in God's Hill at the Worsley um, where Kaylee works. So there we go. So thank you so much, everybody. I'm going to toast you all with my cup of tea. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot I had something else here on the table. Oh, I don't know if I can do it because I don't know if I've got the required thing. Your birthday's in eight days' time, is it? Oh, yours in eight days' time. Uh, and 
Oh, it's your birthday today, December the 31st. Oh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Astrid. Happy birthday to you. And I've got twin nieces who have a birthday today as well. Um, Trace is saying no, but her uncle is 60 in May and your hubby is 50 in September. Wow. So it's a bit, a bit it is a big a birthday of lots of, um, lots of big birthdays. I was going to blow you some bubbles, but I haven't got a bubble blower. There's not a bubble blower in it. There's bubbles, but no bubble blower. What are you in the ninth? Me too, birthday. Are you in the ninth? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, oh, your birth. Oh, so Karen and Janet both got a birthday on the ninth. Have you had a few gifts already? Mine will be in eight and 45 minutes to go. <laughs> Excellent. So there we go. Lots of birthday people. Yes, Janet's on the ninth. There we go. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Right. Uh, in the USA. So, folks, I am going to love you and leave you. I'm going to clear up my messes and all my party poppers, bits and pieces. I'm not ready to go to bed yet. I should probably sit on my bed, maybe watch a film and do some more knitting before I wind down for the evening. I've had a fantastic time. I hope you all have too. And I really, really thank you for joining us. What date is my birthday? My birthday is the 8th of September. Um, and it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a year of big, but where well, we've got Pat's birthday on the, on the 6th of January, Maz, who did a lot of knitting for us, um, for the carnival float and other things in, she's in, in, um, she's in Wales and she's got a 70th before my, sometime in the summer, not quite sure when, um, she did tell me, I think July possibly. So we were thinking maybe the carnival could be, you know, around the carnival, we could do a lot of stuff towards birthday times and things. We're going to make these birthdays very elastic because it's a good excuse for having a lot of fun. And the thing was, my 50th was rubbish. My 60th was rubbish. So let's make my 70th not rubbish. <laughs> it's only a number after all. Anyway, folks, I really think perhaps we should go now and, uh, what you know, finish off our evening um just calm down and uh, you know just come down to a slow slow i've got to wind down a bit because i'm too i'm too too hyper to go to sleep yet but that doesn't matter because i can i might cro finish crocheting this this oh i've dropped it i've dropped my crochet here we, no here we are i might carry on crocheting my daisy my first daisy of 2020 how about that i'll i'll do some daisies before i go to bed night night everybody thank you so much for joining me in this mammoth two hour live stream love you lots see you all soon and <laughs> I, I i certainly got the um the the um the duracell batteries in tonight <laughs> so um, loving you lots all of you and thank you for sharing you know who knew that me sitting in my lounge on my own Popping party poppers could be such fun, <laughs> but then it's only fun because you're all there what, joining in. Love you lots. See you all soon. Bye. Happy New Year.